smoothie groove for putting those smoothies together. Thank you. Dance, smoothie, smack your hoodie. You see that truck anywhere in the city? Pull up, man. Tell him to push your Instagram page. Smoothie, smack your hoodie. This right here make you come stand out in the hat with the Brady Bevel's hat on. That's what that shit is. So, guys, hey, listen. This is Keon Davis, and this is the Making Smoothie Magic Podcast. That's right. Smooth and Groove has its own podcast, and we're bringing you dope individuals with dope conversations, all while we make a smooth. You ready? Let's get it. Archie, you ready? Let me know when you're ready, Archie. There you go. There you go. Boom, boom. All right, let's go Facebook. There you go. What's up, fuck? <laughs> hey, you know, you know, I had to put a little swag on today, man. Since I, I, I was gonna be on here with my dog, man, and I know, I know you, know, you know. You the, you the man when it comes to the Fedora game. Nobody else can get it done like you can. And, and I, I wasn't going to put one on, but I said, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, I, hey, I said, I can't come on here without the Fedora game on. It just wouldn't be right, man. It wouldn't be right. How you doing? I'm good, man. Over here. Getting my stuff ready. Got my, my blender ready. Yeah. Got my blender ready. Yeah, you on deck, huh? I'm you on deck. I'm prepared. Yeah. Prepared. So look, last time, last time you got on, you, um... You showed up, you told us that you was gonna release something, right? You was gonna have some stuff you was about to drop, you was about to release some new stuff, and then a couple days after that, <laughs> hey, we seen what you dropped, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I see I see you dropped some heat. Yeah. Man, that's fire, bro. Tell me a little bit about that process. Mm-hmm. But we're just taking our time. We're just aligning 
line into the market, a lot of strikers don't at the end of the day. But during this time, like you said, we had to pivot. We kind of had to change our perception of like how we see our brand future, right? And we know that we can do amazing things. But it's also just kind of being smart with it at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of drop the gems, whatever it may be. So we're doing a collaboration with the Quebec College that's dropping in August. So that is a way of trying to showcase our creativity from a luxury standpoint. Like we are a luxury brand, but right. that doesn't mean that we only partner up with luxury brands, right? right? We think that we can bring, we have a lot of value to bring to any type of collaboration when it comes to design, when it comes to like marketing, when it comes to overall awareness. And we realize that like, to be honest, can nobody fuck with us? Right. It's as simple as that. Sure you know what I'm saying? Like nobody's fuck with us, but it's like, we are going to stay in our lane and create our own narrative. Like we're not about to sit here and be focused on growing brothers, growing brothers. Not about to just focus on Stetsons and all these other hat companies. We know that we do well in our market, our niche. Right. And we're gonna keep it like that. We're gonna continue to add things on top of things to make our brand better than it was before. Like we're gonna, when we come, when this shit is all over, all, all over, we're gonna come out better. Like oh, for sure. Like we're gonna be in a whole different plane. You know what I'm saying? So like. We got some stuff in the works that people are gonna be like, oh shit, like these things are working. Right. This time period. You know what I mean? Think about this is like, it's crazy though, because I was talking to uh, Patrice uh, yesterday who uh, runs uh, Honey Pot, and she was giving a different perspective of, of how to look at running your business where it comes to just kind of going the flow, like going the flow but having a plan. Right. 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 And, and, and seeing the vision and just going go with that vision. Like, don't let nobody be, deter you away from that angle and that vision of going straight. And that's what I realized. Like, I'm not about to let nobody take me off that track. Like, I don't care. Like, at the end of the day, like, I'm going to stay in my lane. And that's what it's going to be. Like, we may drop a hoodie. We may drop a t shirt. We may drop a, we may drop a jean jacket. We may drop a sneaker. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Right. Our, our, my goal for us is to get to the point where. We can create anything the fuck we want to create. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, what's up? And, it, and, it, and at the same time, we will still within our lane. Like, we will be, uh, we are a fedora and CSP company. That's what we are. But at the same time, we may say, hey, we want to partner with a sneaker company and drop one limited edition sneaker. You know what I'm saying? And that just shows our flexibility and our way to adapt. You know, so I'm excited, man. I'm excited to see what we got going on. We got a lot of stuff going on this year, and it's coming in preparation for next year. And we go for next year as well. Like, shit, we do two mil. You know what I'm saying? We're projected to do a half a mil this year. But when everything's going wrong, we'll probably, we'll probably cap out probably like 200, 200, 200. Uh, But that's all we got to at the end of the day. Yeah, I think it's possible. And then I think that. Another one thing that I really want people to understand and like, because I know a lot of people see me and they see a lot of different things that I do, right? And they see how all these things are like, hey, you just do this and that, and, you know what I mean? But one thing that I always do, and I keep this in mind, and I've never, I've never shared this with anybody. The way that I look at my life, bro, and what I do when it comes to business or creating streams of income, I look at it like an octopus, right? I look at it just like an octopus. The reason I look at it like an octopus is, is that the body of the octopus is 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 the core, right? That's your core. Right. That's what that's yeah. ribs, right? Well, they all got eight legs. They all octopus got eight yeah. legs, right? So each leg does something different, right? Yeah. Exactly. Each leg can go in a different direction. Each leg can grab stuff. You know what I'm saying? That the, this leg over here can grab something that this leg over here can't see. You know what I'm saying? Or can't go get, right? You know what I mean? Exactly. So the reason I say that is that. What happens is when the octopus arm goes out and grabs something, the very first thing it does is bring it back to the core, right? No matter what direction it grabs it in, no matter what arm grabs it, right? It always brings everything back to the core, whether it's an arm in the front or arm in the back. As soon as it grabs whatever it's grabbing, it's bringing it back to the core so it can eat, right? So that's the same way with like rims. So pretty much what you're doing is, and that's how I feel like about my business, like making smoothie magic, the recipe book, all that type of stuff, it's another leg, another arm, but it's bringing back to the core. You know what I'm saying? It's another asset. It's another asset. Yeah, that's all it is. I think I realized I, that's a, I think that's a, that's a very unique uh, way of putting it because I think that's exactly what we want to do. I think we want to be, honestly, be very transparent. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if people are familiar with Kiss. Who? Uh, K I T H. Kip. Yeah, Kip. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. So, I ain't gonna lie, like, Kip is, like, one of our inspirations. Like, we want to be uh, 
we want to be the kids of hats. And when I say that, they do a great job when it comes to collaboration. Like, they do an amazing job when it comes to that. Like, when it comes to making sure that it's from a aesthetic standpoint and from a creative standpoint that it just matches. Like, mm -hmm. it just goes crazy. It just, mm -hmm. it just goes crazy. Mm -hmm. And basically, we want to be a part of that. Like, of course, we'll be our own brand. Right. But they do a great, amazing job with this. Having collaboration with Disney, having collaboration with Gucci. Like, they spread, they go all over the place, but it's still aligned with their core mission and the creative niche. Right. right? So for us, it's like, we want to have, we'll have our core products, we'll have our core setting, we'll be, we'll, we'll be giving it down, and we'll have these things and things of that nature. But overall, we will be able to tap in. We're we'll able to cross the market at right. all times. And you know what that like, is? That's, that's, what that is, it's called brand on brand. That's what I call it. I call it brand on brand, right? So whenever you're able to collaborate with someone that whether they have a stronger brand or a, a, a smaller brand than you, right? Whatever that is, when you bring those two brands together, you gotta think about these target markets. Like different people got different target markets. So by me going, it's, it's almost like this line, right? You got people that, that follow you, that rock with you, that know you from day one, that have never seen me, you know what I'm saying? And so, and I got the same way, right? I got people that rock with me that probably never seen you. Right, but now that we're together and we're coming together on a common ground, right, working together, now our people are now mixing and mingling with each other. And now that's yeah. the that's really the stronghold that we have on collaboration. And so that's what one reason like with me, bro, like I've always I've always loved like from day one, I knew I wanted to do collaborations with outside of the box companies. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, and so like yeah, and so like for me and I tell everybody, like I wanna I wanna partner with a makeup line. Right? I want to partner with a makeup line. I want to partner with a hookah company. Right? I want to partner with a, with a shoe company. Like, I got ideas that I know for a fact. The, the way that my brand operates, it can it can tap into... Think about this, right? And I'll tell anybody. I don't care. Um, think about if I partner with a lipstick company, right? And we did a smoothie groove edition. Where each one of the lipstick colors was the same color as one of my smoothies. Right? So let's say it was somebody like the lip bar. And I had my own version of like uh, the Smooth Groove Edition, but the color was the Nene, the Nene Yellow, right? Yeah. Or the Ooh Killer Orange, you know what I'm saying? Or the Tiger Walk Red. And so like, to create that cross brand, you know what I'm saying? I'm still, that's the octopus arm, right? Yeah. I'm still in my same lane. I'm still doing yeah. what I do, right? Or you yeah. can think about a sneaker line. Like, I, I remember I was thinking about this about five, six years ago. And I was like, bro, I want to get with one of the sneaker companies, right? and let's make a shoe that's all one color, right? But the shoe that's all one color, like I got a, I got a limbo, right? It's berries, so it's purple, but it got black, black specks in it, it got red specks in it, that type of deal. Imagine a shoe that looks just like that, right? You know what I mean? And it's the, it's whoever I partner with, that's the Smooth and Groove edition of the shoe. And then you know who did that? Gatorade did it with Jordan, remember that? Yeah. They did that, as soon as I seen it, I said, oh, and it was two things, I was mad. I'm like, dang! I knew I could do that jump, but then I was happy too because I was on the I was on the right path mentally. Right, you know what I'm saying? And I'm and I'm not even nowhere near neither one of these brands, but I still had that mindset, that concept. It's like, okay, I'm on the right path. I'm on to something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I realize, I realize right now, it's just like, this is, these are honestly, these are the perfect. The, these are the best times to really kind of level up your collaboration, like reaching out to bigger companies because. When things get back up and running, especially retail companies like Saks, Bloomingdale, Lehman Marcus, they're gonna need help. They're gonna need help. They're gonna need help. Yeah. Right? They're gonna need help to get people to gravitate to their to their back to them. Yeah. And honestly, it's gonna be from a engagement standpoint, yeah. from a experience standpoint, because you know the mall is like you know the mall is gonna be opening up. I think next week. Anybody going? Anybody no. Anybody go to
the job. Real good. Real, real good. Like when you, you get the name, you have to still be a sister to the that topic. Sister to right. that topic in general. But then again, it's like if you market and create that content that relates to both sides, you're gonna kill it because, like I said, people are still online shopping. Right. And people are spending money right now. And people are probably
You know what I'm saying? When I can just go buy four or five parking spots, right? Have my truck there, do my thing, take my other truck and ride around wherever I needed to go. And now I got a storefront, right? Less money, less overhead. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, to me, it, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I leave it over there all day long. You know, and so, and so it's just like, why, why, why go get this building? Why go get all this, in, in all this, in all this trouble? Cause I done done that. You know what I'm saying? I got my hair bust with the storefronts. No, I, I agree with you. I'm thinking, I'm looking at it in an innovative way, mm -hmm. right? So how I'm thinking of looking at it is, I do want a brick and mortar. I do want a brick and mortar. But what I want to do is, I want to make it into an experience where it's going to be an office. You know? So that you are still comfortable being able to wow. come purchase product, oh. right? But in our office slash Right. Production, be everything in the back. Yeah, everything will be in there, but of course, you'll be in a position where you won't know that it's right. right. Production, right. office space. But for us, like, you, you know, it makes sense because I want it to be where, to the standpoint where everything that we're generating is coming from e commerce. Mm -hmm. And everything that you get from here is kind of extra. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's what I'm thinking in my head is like, 100% of it, 95% of a business. Sell out, and then we can talk next steps of the kind of building or 
So what it is, basically what you're doing is you're showing them that just let me eat what I kill. Right? Yeah. Just, give me, just give me the opportunity to eat what I kill. I don't want nothing. Don't give me nothing. Give me the opportunity to show you. Give me the opportunity to show you. That's it. That's it. That's it. Like, give us the opportunity to show you because a lot of times you can't come. You can't come into it. Like, for us, it's a lot harder because we we at a point in time, we're focused on each other. Like, me and Ty, my man's partner, we're talking about, like, we ain't going to each other. You know what I'm saying? But they want to see you already been in other retailers. Right. When if we're doing well and killing the game, we're in commerce. Right. We say, hey, we do this, but we need these numbers specifically. Right. Are you going to tell us no because we ain't going to have a retail? That's the same, that's the same lane with us, bro. Like, it's, it don't make sense because even with us, it's hard for me to go because I've, I've I've got multiple like opportunities to go into big boxes with like my juices and yeah. my recipe, like all that type of stuff. But the thing with is that in order to go in big box on my end, I have to process my product in, right? Yeah. So I'm like, bro, I really don't want to. It, it's hard if I can't find. Right, if I can't find this process and be able to do that, then I don't really want to do it, you know what I mean? So, I was looking at it from the same standpoint, so I'm like, you know what, I'm going to build my own manufacturing spot, right? I'm going to produce my own stuff, and what gave me that idea was, um, I rode past Arden's Garden, I went to Arden's Garden one time, I was in Alabama still. Every time I come to Atlanta, I go to a different spot to kind of see what they're doing. And I went to Arden's Garden, this was right before I started doing all my juices and stuff, and I went to their, their main spot. Where they got a little small retail in the front, but in the back, they got all the trucks docked up. They back there making juices, like the whole nine. And so I was like, oh, okay. I see I see how this thing is operating right here, right? This is, this is pretty much the same thing that you just said. This this retail is just, it's just you know what I'm saying, just to be here. This is to bring people here. We making money out the back door, right? All our money coming out the back door. And ever since I've seen that, that's been my philosophy on what I need to do and how I need to operate. Cause think about it, I'm gonna have multiple food trucks, bro, parked at my deck, at my at my space, whenever I get it, right? All we doing is load these food trucks up and they ride out, right? All we doing is making these juices and bottles, putting them on the trucks and they ride out, right? And so that's the whole concept and philosophy because now we can we can do smoothies e-commerce now, right? We can do smoothies e-commerce. I'm gonna drop that, that by the end of the month. We're gonna be sending smoothies through the mail and let you blend them up yourself. That's why I'm helping people with these making smoothie magic joints, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and send you everything. You can do it at the crib. You know what I mean? You ever thought, you ever thought about doing a subscription? Yeah, that's what it's gonna be. Okay. That's what that's what it's gonna be. That's what it's gonna be. Yeah, you get your box. It's gonna be. It's almost like the Hello Fresh type model. You know what I'm saying? Every week you get your box sent to the crib. You can pick what flavors you want. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna send you a different recipe every week. You know what I mean? That type of deal. And then run it like that. So we definitely gonna, gonna pick up any up on that end, but we just gotta get the structure piece together. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Make sure gotcha. that structure right. Yeah, man, I agree, man. I think I think it's 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 all about just kind of being innovative and figure out ways to be succession proof and be sustainable. Like you gotta think about all options. Even before this, like I was thinking about like if the, the uh, uh, if a depression came or if a uh, if the, there's a market crash, like how would we react? Mm -hmm. um, but I realized that the way we've been scaling, we've been able to do that. Like for example, like you know, I realize I've been trying to tell these people all the time, like the doors, like the, it's, it's, it's just money at the door. Like we can do, we can literally do three thousand pieces a year and make a half a million dollars. Easy. But think about like this, think about from the, you, you know numbers, Ken. Yeah? Like think about three thousand dollars compared to the to the it's not even the world, just the United States. Right. Right. That ain't shit. That ain't shit. That ain't nothing. These people do that to what? That's not even that's what? People do that they give do three thousand dollars a product in a in a week. In a week, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Three thousand so like, yeah. Exactly. So like if we are able to get to the point where we're doing ten thousand and three thousand units of uh, a month. That's a whole, that's, that's a half a million bucks. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, honestly, it's just like, when you see those type of numbers, and you realize the capability and the process of what you potentially have to do in the future, it's just like, honestly, it's just like, believing in what the fuck you got going on, and not taking, not taking your mind off of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been a process, it's been time, but I'm just like, damn, if I'm doing the right thing, like, if I'm being, you know, if I'm being true to what I'm going to be doing with guys, putting my, my mind and my hands, that this shit was meant 
it was like we, when we found out that our manufacturer was like working, I was kind of nervous. I was kind of I was nervous because I didn't know how our customers would react because we had people that did pre order. We had a hundred pre orders for our, for our new beginning hat that we had dropped. We haven't even dropped yet, and we we sold a hundred in like two weeks. You know what I'm saying? And that was a nerve. It was nervous for me. You know? was like damn, like how could work out? You know, be like I need my refund, I need the money back. Right. So like damn, they they all need their money back. That's gonna kill us. That's gonna kill us because yeah. not only did he make money back. We can't drop any, we don't have anything else to drop. Right, they only pick, pick up, up. yeah. Oh. So I'm just like, damn, like, how are we going, how are we going to react to it? But it's like, I said, hey, we're just going to be honest. we going to be honest. We're going to be very transparent. And we're going to let know what's going on. So we reached out to email blast, and we told them, like, what situation is going on. And, you know, we sent it out. And we literally had people out the people out the back, like, customer out the customer, like, yo, you know, don't worry about it. Like, we in the house, like, it's okay. Like, we get it, we get it as long as we get the hat. Now it's two months away, people are still like, you understand? And now people are happy now because we're sending, we just sent our most recent email out about like, hey, come where I'm in a bachelor year. They're about to start opening up, but they opened up in phases. So it's like three phases when they're going to start opening up. But we let people know like, hey, like we're about to continue open up. Yeah, people are part of the process. This made me realize, yeah, this made me realize like, yo, people are really loyal to our brand and they're really loyal to what we're doing. And we, it's only right that we continue to go hard. Like, right. It's only right. Like, we're right. like now, we're we're now, we, we slack. We're slacking on people. We're slacking on all these 150 people that are waiting for these hats. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's bigger than us now. It's not just about us curating. Like, it's about curating for our customers and our consumers. Like, yes. it's, it's bigger. Like, it ain't about, you know, our personal shit. Right now, we've created this brand where people are like, yo, we want to see more. So now it's like shit. Let's give these things more. Right. Right. Yeah, that's, that's it. I know. And, and the thing is, bro, it's like once you have that realization, right? Once you start to see people actually buying the product, people actually rocking with you, people wearing your joint and they tagging you in it, or you see it on somebody that you didn't even know how they got it. You know what I mean? Type of deal. And it's like, bro, do you know I just drew that up in my kitchen on a napkin, or you know what I'm saying? That idea came to me when I was asleep. Or, yeah, you see the first half. Yeah, I remember all that stuff. I remember before you even started. That shit was trash. It was trash. I mean, it was compared to now, because, like at the time. I'm being honest. Like I'm, I'm being honest. Like the only one that was good was the one, the great one. Mm-hmm. That was my favorite one. That's my all-time favorite. Mm-hmm. But that red one, that orange one, great concept, great design. But quality. Yeah. Well, in comparison. In comparison to what you got, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, like, it's trash. It's trash. Compared to where we're at now, like, I'm like, many times, we say this shit all the time, like, bro. Like, times we say, like, that shit was trash. Like, that, I mean, we, we were figuring it, figuring it out. Right. So I say all the say, like, everything makes shit perfect. Like, when you start the brand, when you start a business, you're figuring things out. I know Drop that job. Anyway. She was trying to figure out, like, how to do it. You know, start a job with a company. Right? 
Yeah. It's hard to stop when you put so much work into something. It's hard to, to give up. You know what I mean? It's hard to relinquish that. And so I think with yeah. you guys and what you're starting to understand is that, hey, I am a God, right? I can create, right? And now I have a platform to where even these are some, these are probably things that you had in your mind five or six years ago, but didn't have the resources yeah. to make them happen the way that you wanted to make them happen, right? And then now you got the resources to make them happen, and now these old ideas are now relevant to you, or now relevant to the world, because you can produce them now, but those were ideas from five years ago, right? So like, my thing is, I, I had people all the time, I had a situation where um, some guys that used to work for me, when I went through everything I did with my loss of money and everything, they looked at it as an opportunity to kind of bounce up on what I was doing in the area. So they ended up, the store that I shut down, they ended up um, working with the guy that owned the building and opened up a smoothie company in that same store, thinking that they were going to know and operate the same way that I did to be able to take it to the next level, right? But they didn't understand that the things that I taught them, the things that we were doing, the things that we were actually, the things that you were seeing were ideas that came from five years ago, right? Yeah. So if you're if you're banking your stuff on what I'm doing right now, you five years behind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You five years behind. Right. So that's why for me, that's why I don't I don't fear with telling anybody what I'm doing or what I'm thinking or what I'm putting together because this is stuff that's been this old stuff. Right? It's just now the stuff that I'm thinking about now, or the stuff that I'm, the stuff that I'm thinking about now is groundbreaking, bro. Like, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm in the works right now. Bro, listen, listen to me. I'm in the works right now. I'm in the works right now of creating my own smoothie machine, bro. Like a self, a self-serve smoothie machine, bro. All visual. Everything's visual, right? So everything you, and I'm talking. Everything's visual. Everything's visual, right? So imagine, imagine going to the store. Imagine going to the airport, right? You know that little ice cream machine? What is a little freezer that they grab the arm, they go in and get your ice cream and pull it out for you? I'm in the, I'm in the process now of building one of those, but for smooth. So I got like, when I tell you, I don't care. I know anybody gonna do it, cause they don't, they don't have a vision. I got an assembly line of blenders like this, right? That moves like this. So let's say you order the smoothie. It's just like a, like a vending machine. You order a smoothie, right? You want a strawberry banana smoothie. Well, the blender is gonna come up. You gonna see the strawberries, the bananas, everything fall in the blender. Whatever juice you pick, whatever add-ins you pick, and it's gonna drop in right here in your face, right? It's gonna blend up, and it's gonna pour right there in the cup, and your cup will come out right there. And it's gonna turn around, it's gonna wash it out, and it's gonna go on to the next, right? So. That's, that's the type of stuff that I'm on now. It's like, how can I duplicate this process and everything that I'm doing, but get it out to the masses? And all I got to do is refill, right? So all I'm thinking about is the icing machine, right? All the icing machine, you see the icing trucks, all they're doing is coming in, refilling, and they out, right? <laughs> and that's the same thing That's the same thing that I'm thinking about now. It's like, bro, I'm going to put these machines together, and I'm going to make them live. I'm going to make them experience. Everything's an experience, right? So when you, when you can create that, Man, when you can create that and put that together and make it an experience like that, man, it's, it's going to be a no-brainer. Now you're putting yourself in front of the whole thing. That's why when you said you wanted to make your fedoras an experience, bro, I got, bro, I got ideas for you for days, bro. Like,
in your experience, the virtual reality in your experience. Oh yeah, you know you're right. That hey, you put that VR with that with that fedora line, bro. You finna, you finna change, you finna change the way some folks look at look at life, bro. Like, <laughs> what kind of fruit you got over there? Okay. We'll grab mine out too. So I got I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I got, bro. Alright, so I got the strawberries, I got the mangoes, I got the the, uh, the berry mix, right? Okay. The reason I did that is because I'm gonna mix some uh some Tennessee honey in there. Are you trying to get fucked up? Look, 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 you know, I gotta see it. I don't know what that Tennessee honey is. Yeah. Bring something better than that. This is what I had at the crib. Don't judge us because we got crazy last night. Yeah. But, you know, we're going to Martella. We're like, hey, hey, listen, listen. I need the plug. Hey, I need the plug. I want Martella to sponsor the show. That's all I got. Hey, I, I need Martell to sponsor the show. Tell Kareem, tell Kareem we need to make this happen. Yeah, we need to make this happen because I got that blue, I, I got that uh, that 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 uh, vibranium drink that we make with that Martell that's off the chain. Yeah, 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 that's good. That's perfect. All right, what kind of what kind of fluid you got? Some juice, water. Uh, so that's cool. Yeah, so you got the ninja joint? Yeah, let me see. Yep, all right, bet. Yeah, I see, I see it. So what I want you to do is I want you to put your fluid in first. Yep. So I want you to put it. I want you to put it up to about half, uh, about right to the blade. Right to the blade. Uh huh. That first blade at the bottom. The first one, the one at the far, at the bottom. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. You had them over there anyway. <laughs> yeah, alright. Yeah, a little bit more, yep. Alright, that's good right there. Uh, let me get them bed, them strawberries. Yeah, strawberries, in. Yeah, strawberries. Yep, strawberries and mangoes. We're gonna do about a handful of those. Yep. So it's normally. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's good. That's good. Yep. But ain't no handful, but alright. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. One handful. Yeah, I got you. Trust me, I got you. Yep, that's good. That's normally. A handful is normally gonna be about a cup. All right, so if anybody's using the measuring, when you get a handful, it's gonna typically run you about a cup. It could be more or less depending on the size of your hand, but it average out about a cup. All right, now you got the blueberries. Yeah. Handful. Yep. Yep. Boom. Boom. And then we're gonna put your Martell in. We'll put about two shots in that thing. Let me put my, let me get my shot. Yeah, get your shot glass. You don't want to be too. Hey, this is in honor of brunching. I know everybody, Georgia, they're open back up, and I know people not outside for real, for real. But we're gonna we're gonna do this for the for the brunch life. Slim <laughs> <laughs> 
the whip or keep the whip in the Now you got any lime or lemon or anything over there? Lemon. Yeah, put a little lemon in there. We're gonna cut that alcohol taste with them blueberries. Bro, you know what I'm saying? I can't repair. Hey, that wasn't for today. That was for last night, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, just squeeze it. Yeah, just squeeze it. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's good. Now put the lid on that thing and let it ride. Dance now, get to it. Hey, this is gonna be the Brams edition of the smoothies. Are we lit? All right, all right, let it ride.
Run special, baby. What kind of blender am I using? Am I using? I'm using a blend tech. So I'm using a spy ass one type of blender. I'm using. I'm using a blend tech. I'm, I'm pretty brand loyal when it comes to my blender. Um, based on the specs, the RPMs, like the, the power and everything that they have on, on their blenders. Like I love I love my blend tech. Oh, this thing here off the chain. This thing smells good too. Oh, you see that gloss, buddy? Huh? You see that gloss, buddy? I might come to a smoothie blender guy. You know, he needs somebody to come on the team. Let me know, bro. I bet. Let's get it. Oh, man. What you do wrong? Tell me what you did wrong. You ain't got no blade in there. Add some more, add some more fluid to it. Add some more, uh, add some more fluid. Yep, don't even fight with it. Just add some more fluid to it. Add a little bit more. Now you should be good. Bro, stop being crazy and put that blade in there, bro. <laughs> Be a hard hit. Oh, you're about to put some more fluid in there. Put some more fluid in there. Alright. Oh, shit. Y'all go put them damn knives in that thing. No knives. No knives. Hell no. Put some more fluid in there, bro. You be out. Put some more fluid in there. Right. There you go. There you go. So it's important any time that you make a smoothie and you put alcohol in it. Don't listen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Anytime you make a smoothie and you put alcohol in it, you want to put something in that's going to cut the flavor. Right? I know a lot of times people like to taste the alcohol, but once you mix it with that fruit, it's going to give it a different taste. And so you want to add something like a lime, right? I used um, grapefruit juice. That does the trick. Put something acidic in there with, with that alcohol. If it covers the taste, you won't even know it's there, right? So when you get to drinking it, be careful. Because that fruit, that, the way that the fruit breaks down in your system, along with the alcohol, that alcohol, that alcohol is going straight to your blood, right? So you're going to have a great feeling real fast. And it's going to jump on you and not even realize it, okay? Make sure y'all know that. You over there struggling, right? Hey, add a little bit more. Keep adding until you get it where you need to be. <laughs> the first one's off the chain, though. Hey, somebody said, keep making hats, bro. <laughs> they said, your brother broke. I hit him with the camera, but I hit him. He got it now. He got it now. 
Take 12, goddamn. Hey, that's the beauty of bringing people on, bro, that don't that do not do what we do. We can have fun with it. Nobody, Nobody's wrong, right? And you can always make this movie right, no matter what you do. All you gotta do is add a little bit more, keep adding, keep adding until it, it is what it is and you want it to where it is, all right? I don't think that makes sense, but we're gonna get there. I think it might be this drink already. It's already kicking in. Uh, it's on now. Good, man. There we go. We get it. We go. Just make it dance. About time to take your hour. Never, never take it. I'm, I'm, I always make it work. Mm -hmm. Never quit. Never quit. What they say you online, Keanu? Never quit. Never quit. Never quit. Mm -hmm. What's up, Kiki? Oh, that's it, yeah. Yeah, that's it, yeah. You gonna be alright, lady. Like, gonna be alright now. Man, I wish y'all could taste this right now. This is so good. Okay, this is good, dog. And the thing is, we don't use any any ice to dilute the flavor. Right? It's all fruit. I got a question for you. Go ahead. How did you perfect? How did you perfect? Like, I guess your your process of making smooth. Um, I think my thing was I knew what I liked, right? And I had to find out. It took me a long time to figure this junk out, right? And so I had to keep doing it to figure out why, right? So when I knew I can look at blenders, I can look and I can listen to them now. And I can tell you what product you have in them based on how it sounds. You know what I mean? So it took me a long time to kind of pick up on that and I had to pay attention. Pay the environment, guys. Yes, sir. <laughs> I had to pay attention to the details of what the blender was actually doing and how it operates. I didn't want to just throw stuff in there and then let it blend and it don't work and then I got to take it out and get a spoon and do this. Like, I wanted yeah. to know why it didn't blend properly. I wanted to know why it didn't, you know, why it, it just didn't look right. And. Microwave. Microwave. What you think? What you drunk, man? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can put you can put those in the freezer, and when you bring them back out to drink them again and thaw them out, they won't separate. You know how most foods they separate? Uh, okay. gotcha. Because we didn't use any we didn't use any water base anything. We didn't use any ice or anything like that. Uh huh. Yep. But yeah, that's what I did, man. I, the way I perfected that jump, man, I just kept doing it. Yeah. I just kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. Until I started thinking. Yeah. Yeah. And I had to learn the blender. I couldn't I couldn't learn the fruit, right? I had to learn the blender. That was that was my sword. That was my tool. You know what I mean? So once I learned the blender and I learned how the blender operate, then I was able to say, you know what? We good. Yeah. Yep. So look, we got like one minute left. Um, let these people know where they can find you, where they can, they can get up with you, where they can connect with you, all that type of stuff. Cause they fucking kick us off. You can find me on my Instagram, Arthur Saint Third. Of course, you can follow me on my brand website, webrams.com, and then our Facebook page, Brams. Shout out to Smoothie Groove for putting those smoothies together. Bro, I appreciate you, man. Smoothie Groove. Hey, that truck. Smoothie Groove. 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 Smoothie Alright, again, this is Keon Davis, and this is Making Smoothie Magic. Let's get it.